<laughs> right. Uh, there's and a great. I don't know if it's on YouTube or if I saw it somewhere else, but someone has a, sort of a side by side between the final product and your storyboards for Tales of the Crypt. Is that a surreal process when you've done the storyboards and you see the final project of the, something like that? It's like, it's like I know when I've written something and then it got filmed and I've done like short story, short film type things, independent, like, you know, just fun stuff. Um, it's it, kind of it, surreal it, seeing your creation come to life in a visual media that you love and respect so much. You have to understand um, Tales and Crypt was, was fascinating in terms of I wasn't hired to do the covers on Tales in the Crypt, I was hired to create a series of images that they could use to create the opening with. Right. And when they gave the opening to me, you know, I'm, uh, so it was a, the uh, producer that was Bill Titler. I sat down with Bill Titler and he said, yeah, we need these uh, five or six different images. And he ran through the process of, yeah, this is what we're thinking of seeing you know, for the opening of the show. And he ran through kind of the, you know, the, the ideas that he had. Well, the first thing I did was I sat down and I boarded that out as a, as a little storyboard, just for my use more than anything else. And then I took that and, and uh, I think it was myself and um, I was working in Chaikin's, we had a studio then and Richard Ory was the guy who did a lot of the background work with us. Um, I think he gave me a lot of help on, um, uh, on designing those things. And I did a series of six or seven images and brought them in to Bill along with a little storyboard. And he was, oh, you know, thanks a lot. You know, and it was, I was used to working in comics. You got paid for this stuff and it was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so um, anyway, a, a month or two later, uh, he, Bill gives me a call and he goes, hey, yeah, we're building the set. You got to drop by and and, and you know, take a look. So, you know, and he said, I want to talk to you about doing a couple other things. So I get there and it's one thing when you're drawing a storyboard and then you see it transition into film. And that's still, that's a flat image. It's a 2D image. Um, and you're removed from it in a sense. Well, all of a sudden I'm walking into this place and I'm going, oh my God, there's my drawings. And there are these, this is this 3D, you know, it's, it, it's a 3D world. It's like, yeah. you know, it was, oh, there's a staircase I was thinking of. Oh, the, you know, there, you know, and you touch it and you realize, oops, you know, <laughs> it's just a piece of, 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 of tarp that's been painted. Um, and, and this are just, you know, like behind us, there's nothing but a couple of pieces of plywood here. But that was, that was what just astounded me. Sure. Um, but anyway, and, and, uh, and Bill said, you know, look, we're, we're so happy with what you did with this. We're thinking what we'd like to have you do is um, um, for each of the, the stories, you know, we're going to we're going to cut from, um, you know, to segue into them. We're going to do a comic book cover mm -hmm. and we want you to do the comic book covers. And and by the way, that whole Tales in the Crypt job, um, that's something that Chaikin got for me. Uh, awesome. he, was, he was pitching scripts to um, um, uh, Joel Silver and Richard Donner, whoever. And and I think Silver said to him, like, hey, you're a comic book guy. How'd you like to draw some stuff for us? And, of course, Howard in his, uh, you know, uh, irrepressible way went, I don't do drawings anymore. I'm a writer. But I know a guy <laughs> who might be able to help you. I know a guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, I you know, it. so he, he brought me into that. And... Um, uh, it was a great gig. It, it lasted 10 years. And um, whatever I was making on a cover was was literally like, you know, almost 10 times what I was making in comics were doing the same thing. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and as a kid from the Midwest, um, the first year they would give me photographs to work from. And I went, yeah. I know I've got to talk to, to Bill Titler and convince him that I need to come on the set and shoot photos of these people. Cause I mean, it was just like, they're doing all this stuff and I don't get to see it. Right. Um, so, you know, he was like, Oh yeah, fine. Just come on in and you'll start shooting photographs of, of people. Um, so I, I think the first person that I met was, um, uh, geez, what was um, from back to the future, uh, the, the female lead. Leah Thompson? Uh, Leah Thompson. And I was just astounded because I said, yeah, I'm thinking of this for the cover. And she just goes right into character and starts giving me these great photographs. 
I could model for him. And I'm like, wow, I was spoiled. Because I don't think I had anybody afterwards who was uh, who ever did anything quite as, as, as easy, you know, as, as useful as that. But, um, I mean, for me, over the next 10 years, I, I literally got to meet and photograph everyone in Hollywood. I mean, it was uh, – you realize the incestuousness of – of the whole business because anytime someone appeared on Tales from the Crypt, you went, oh yeah, they just finished working in a film with uh, Richard Donner or, mm. oh yeah, they're, you know, uh, I mean, there was always these, this connection. Oh, uh, oh yeah. They're married to so-and-so who is, you know, uh, doing whatever. Um, and being on a movie set, it was just, it, it would always blow your mind for about 10 minutes. Let me and let me share this boring place in the world. Is this let me let me share this so I can make sure I don't grab the wrong thing. Is that yours? Is this like an electric chair, like the Crypt Keepers holding the book with a comic book cover? Yes. Is that yours? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay. Um, and that's actually, I, thought. I want to make sure. Yeah, that's that's probably the one cover. I think I did two covers I didn't do. Sean McManus was also in the studio with us, and I think he actually did that particular cover for me. And uh, Dan Spiegel uh, did one of the covers. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, – I think Sean did his entirely on his own. He was, uh, you know um, – well, the, the computer's not wanting to cooperate, of course. But, uh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome, folks. It's just look it up. It's uh, – the, the, these covers that were incorporated in these stories for the TV show. And it's just, it's really, it's really fascinating. I love it. So have any of that art left? Oh, yes and no. Um, okay. We, we, all the black and white artwork is still around and a good part of his own by, oh, there's some dealer out there dealing with it. Uh, I might have a couple pieces. Um, okay. The color pieces, they were done on overlays. Mm -hmm. And for the first three seasons, that stuff is all in a vault at Joel's place sometime. Uh, you know, I don't know whether, whether it's gathering mold or gathering dust or then tossed <laughs> out later. Who knows? But uh, uh, for those of you in the, in the chat, though, if you have questions, feel free to drop them in. I'll try to work them in and stuff like that. Um, I know I got I got I got literally comic book people in my chat. So who knows what kind of questions we'll circle around to. And I love it. So. Uh, I yeah. got to get to Narnia though, because uh, we'll run long on time. I don't want to. I don't want to abuse your time here, so I'll run long on the. I hate leaving the Tales of the Crypt because that's almost its own like documentary oh, so type I. story, huh? So did I. <laughs> oh man, I bet it's just. Oh god, I love that show. I love that stuff. I love all of it. I love Leah Thompson too, by the way. Great name drop. The funniest thing that happened to me on Tales of the Crypt was I. Uh, yeah, I worked on it for ten years, and then I started working for HBO Animation on Spawn, and. I somehow wound it, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with, in L.A., there's the two big, in Century City, there's the two big Twin Tower buildings. Mm -hmm. And our offices were on the 42nd floor, which was the penthouse floor. And I wound up with the corner office because there was going to be, you know, a whole bunch of storyboard artists, but I was the only one at the time. So I had this huge office in the penthouse by the myself. 42nd floor, completely by yourself. Completely by myself. And... Um, the Tales from the Crypt offices had to move there because they had moved out of their production office and they moved above us in the attic. <laughs> I would go up and see my uh, producer, Gil Adler, at the time, and I couldn't help but joke with him. I'd go like, Gil, you ought to come down and you ought to see my office. It's you want to come down and hang out in my office? I got plenty of room for you. <laughs> I don't think he was as amused as I was. Rap Circle is finally here. I know everybody been waiting for it, right?